Okay, we're um, going to show you a little bit about tumbling and how you can use it to tumble your uh, wire jewelry or really any kind of jewelry, any kind of metal. Uh, let's start with the containers used in a double barrel tumbler. They come in single barrels like this or you can also get them with dual barrels and we'll work with a dual barrel today. This is a, a, a piece of heavy, heavy rubber here and this is one of the barrels that's used and um, the barrel uh, contains some media and that media is steel and I'm going to show it to you and it comes into a pack about this big there's a pack of media this is uh, steel and you also have uh, stainless steel so one is normal steel and one of the other is stainless steel and all these little uh, pieces of steel uh, as they turn in the tumbler will clean, polish, and uh, really brighten up your jewelry. Uh, you can tumble, tumble it for about an hour for a pretty good shine, and uh, you can even tumble it longer if you like. Gold filled, I'm only suggesting about uh, one hour max. And if you go to our website at um, jewelrysupplycloseouts.com, it'll give you all the things you can tumble and all the things that you cannot. Uh, we do have a special media right here and I'll show you that and this is a, a special media created just for wire jewelry and you'll see what I'm talking about I'll put this tray here and this this media here is uh, for getting into the cracks and crevices of wire jewelry and you see all these uh, different uh, little shapes and these all help to bring in uh, the shine and polish and clean all little nooks and crannies of your wire jewelry. So this is a suggested me media that we put together here at uh, the wire jewelry boot camp. So the media is put into your um, uh, rubber uh, tube here and uh, let's go ahead and dump that in. So all of our media is in and then you're going to need some jewelry to put it in, put in there, and I'll bring in some really dirty jewelry. This is made out of copper about 10 years ago, and you can see it's pretty um, tarnished. And we have a little ring here, and it doesn't look very good. I'm going to put that in, I'm going to put the ring in, and I have an old silver dollar here, it's pretty dirty. And uh, I'm just going to put that in there because it is silver. And uh, just to show you what kind of a shine that this will put on to your uh, jewelry. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to uh, put water in here. And this is a measuring cup. And I think we have about, um, uh, let's see here, we have about a pint of water. Uh, you don't have to measure, but about three quarters full on these would work fine. So here is our um, water and it's going to be about three quarters, more than half, about three quarters full. So here is the top to the container and it's very important you put this on snugly or it's going to um, break loose on you. It is also rubber lined so it doesn't hurt anything and um, it has a top on it like this and a little a screw sticking out. So we're going to take that and before we do that we're going to get a squirt of dishwashing detergent. I use Dawn and uh, it just seems to have less film. So you got a squirt of dishwashing detergent. You have your water, you have your uh, media, and you have your jewelry. So I'm going to go and put this back into uh, the uh, container here and I'm going to shove it in there. And sometimes it's a little tricky to get in. Okay, you heard it snap, it snaps in a little bit. So now it's in there pretty good. So now you put a, another cover, there's a metal cover that comes with it, goes r right over your, um, your entire tube. Then a washer goes over it and then it screws down like this. And screw it down as best you can because you don't want it to leak. Okay. So that's in there pretty good. So let's bring our tumbler in. And this is our uh, double barrel tumbler. This is a, a 
tumble that will hold actually two barrels, just like this. One goes in here, the other one goes in there. We only use them one right now, but they'll go back to back with the little knobs facing out. And you'll see the tumbler has a, uh, a little switch right here on this side. Right there, the switch. And it's an on and on off switch. Some of them have it, some of them don't. This one happens to have it, and that's why I like it. So I'm going to put that on there, and we're going to turn it on, and we're going to tumble clean some jewelry. Okay, let's see how our jewelry came out. Now we uh, tumbled this for about one hour, and depending on how bad things look and how the metal is, uh, you could tumble it more or less. But that's why I put several different kind of metals in here. Now, a lot of times you might need something uh, like this to uh, get this off. This is a, just a regular spoon, but this can be very snug sometimes and I'll put that spoon in there to get this out like that. It'll help you out a little bit. This is a little tough to get out too. Again, you might need something like this. I grab it by here and try to pull it out. There we go. Okay, let's look at the worst piece. And I'll dry it off a little bit. This was copper. Copper, when it's tarnished, is a pretty difficult to clean up. Let's see what we got here. Well, it looks, looks good. It, it could actually, let's get a close up on that. It could actually be a little bit um, cleaner, but it's looking very good. That copper shining up. And this is not, um, this is not um, uh, amber, real amber. You shouldn't uh, tumble real amber. This is a um, an amber light. It's a synthetic stone, but the copper shine is pretty good. Let's see what else we got. Let's pull it out here. Okay, we have this ring. That's gold filled. And that's looking real good. Yeah, that gold is shining real good. The ring's not much. I made it 20 years ago. But uh, this is looking pretty good. That gold is shining real good. Got it really clean. Okay, let's look at the silver dollar. And oh boy, this come out nice. This looks really good. Clean this mess up. And there's a silver dollar. Look at that. And that's what it'll do your silver jewelry. Wow, look at that. Wow, that's really shiny. Made a uh, new coin out of an old one. Looks good. Okay, so that is our tumbling. Now the copper could, could really go back into the tumbler for a little bit uh, longer. And I think these two are fine. But the average tumbling time is about uh, one hour, I would say. So there is uh, your double barrel tumbler. Let's put this back on here. And uh, we'll see how the whole thing looks. There's our yield there. Put it back on here. Okay, and here's our other tumbler. So there is the whole rig right here, our double barrel tumbler. And this one go. This one's got water in it. So this would go right on here, and uh, each of the ends would be on the outside, and uh, uh, your tumbler uh, can be used well for hours and hours on end. It's very durable. The motor is very powerful, and um, it's easy tumbler to work, double barrel tumbler.